Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I am your host Jack and this is another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. If you're enjoying these video tutorials, please stop over my newly designed website. I did some work on it uh, this morning um, and actually updated the website and made it a lot easier to find things on there. Um, if you're looking for the DVDs, they're there. There's um, multiple DVDs on there, and I tell you what, from the feedback, and I also put some feedback on the website this morning so you can see what other people are saying, um, that the DVDs are helping them out. And for only $15, and you know, a couple bucks in shipping, and I ship the next day after you order. So these DVDs are high resolution and great quality. Also, check out my sponsor's website, Ken, who wrote Green Screen Wizard. If you do any green screen photography, that's the ticket. It's the ticket to have that software in your computer, and it works really, really well. So check it out. And if you are going to buy it, please use the graphics on my website. That way, you actually help um, help uh, my cause also, and you help my website. You help me get new equipment for the studio here, uh, you know, with audio, sound, microphones, and different software I use uh, for the recording. So stop by uh, jackstechcorner.com. And look at everything we have to offer there. I'm sure you'll be really impressed. With that said, I want to start to uh, today's video tutorial. And the tutorial today is, you know, a little bit uh, off um, in the way that I've uh, figured out how to do this. Um, and I've used this before, uh, you know, once in a while, because it happens to everybody. Even the even the best photographers out there, you're going to get this every now and then. And it's right here. It's called eyeglass glare. You know, your flash goes off, and maybe you're not getting red eye anymore, but sometimes the light reflects off of something in the room, and you'll get a flash of glare in the people's glasses. And it makes for a very unpleasing picture, and I'm sure you've seen this. So here's a video, or here's a uh, email message from Tomahawk. Now, Tomahawk, thank you very much for writing in. It says, is there a method or technique that will remove the glare from clear eyeglasses while preserving or improving eye appearance? Thank you. Okay, Tom, uh, this technique is not really going to remove the glare as much as fix the problem. So that's kind of what I like to, uh, the approach I like to take to this is to fix the problem. So let's go ahead and go right into our editor. Now in the editor here you can see that I have the girls sitting here against this wall and we have their picture taken. Now there is some red eye which I'm not going to bore you um, with the red eye. The red eye reduction is on uh, the DVD one uh, as far as red eye removal and you know you can watch that back through my video tutorials on YouTube you can find it there. We're going to take care of this girl right here with her glasses. So let's go ahead and zoom in first and take a look at this. Zoom in some more, zoom in some more. Here's the glare coming from somewhere off of the flash, right? The glare's in the glasses, and you say, well, that's, that's tough. It's hard to fix that. You know, you can use the clone stamp tool. You can use the spot healing brush. And you can try to slowly work that out. You know, you can go in here. You can pick up a sample somewhere. You can just try to go through here and just heal this up. See, but you can get some other stuff in there. And, you know, you're going to have to work it really slow to get everything out of there. But that is a way to do it. You can actually come through here and actually use this spot healing brush and work some of that out there. But I'm going to show you another way to do it. Let's revert back to the regular image here. There we go. Now the way I like to do it is, you're going to go to your organizer, and hopefully you took a lot of pictures of the event, whichever event that you were at, and uh, what you're looking for is another picture of that same person with no glare in the glasses. Then we're going to do a little bit of Photoshop magic. All right, so we're going to go back here to my editor. Now, with the editor back open, we're going to actually go in here and we're going to fix this. We're going to go down here, we're going to restore this image here. 
Now what I did was, let me just uh, control click on here. What I did was is make a selection of the person's eyes without the glare. You can see there's no glare in there whatsoever. Once you have a selection created, and I've showed you a lot of videos how to create selections. Once you have your selection of that person's eyes, go to layer, new layer via copy. What you're going to end up with is a copy here of just the eyes. Now, once we have that, don't minimize this because you're going to lose this. Let's just pull this down. Now on this picture here, let's just grab that layer and pull that layer up on the glasses that we need to fix. All right. I'm going to just uh, get rid of this little piece right here. We don't need that. All right. Now, what we're going to do now with the glasses that we have here, as you can see, we pulled them in and put itself on a new layer. And we're going to stick them here, and then we're going to rotate them. Then we're going to get these glasses rotated. Just down here, you can rotate these back and forth, these eyes. And we're going to stretch them out a little bit. What you're going to do is very carefully place them. Now this is the exact same person, so we're not giving her an eye job. We're just placing the eyes back in. This is kind of quick and dirty here, but you're going to see that it's going to actually work out for us all right. Once you get them placed, they can be pulled out here just a little bit. All right. Click on that layer. Now we can actually fit this back to screen. You can see now we got rid of the glare out of her eyes. Now it looks kind of like she has tinted glasses on. I thought, well, Jack, that's okay. Um, you know, she can have those glasses that actually change, you know, from day to night when you go in and out. Um, so that would be all right. It would work out okay. But the problem there is uh, there's a lot of light on these girls. I'm thinking, eh, it doesn't look quite right. So what I'm going to do here is click here and do our little trick that we've done in the past. Click on Levels. Click OK. Don't change them yet. Just click OK. Now do a Control G or on the Mac do a Command G. So we can link that layer or link this adjustment mask or adjustment levels layer with this particular layer here. Then double click on it. Now if you watch just the eyes, we can adjust the eyes up a little bit to make them a little brighter. You want to get it too bright. You don't want to blow them out there, you know, make them look too unreal. Then just click OK once you get it done. Now it looks pretty real. It looks like it's perfect dead on and there's no glare in her eyes no more. So it's just a little bit of photography or Photoshop trickery, I guess you could call it. And uh, it's just a way that we can actually clean that picture up and get the glare out of somebody's eyes. And you can see here, we're going to restore this one also. All right. Let's go back here. Let's uh, move this around a little bit. Can minimize this one now. Let's find this other picture here. Here's this one. It's the same deal on this picture here. You can see I got some glare in her eyes. So the same deal. We'll click on this one. Drag this back over here. And we'll blow that up somewhat. Blow it up a little bit more. Right there, if you have a little bit of extra selection, just take your eraser and just erase it because it's all that's all transparent anyway. Right? Let's uh, turn this a little bit. Pull these out. Just fit them in there a little better. Just like that. Pull this out a little bit more here. You want to be careful though because you don't want to distort somebody's eyes too much where it's not going to look too real. 
with the checkbox, click here, fit that back to screen. And again, they look a little darker, so just do your trick again. Remember here, go to Levels, click OK, Control G, just so we only can work on the eyes, and bring the eyes up a little bit. So as you can see, it can work on many, many different pictures. It gets the glare right out. It's a nice way to do it. You know, and the main trick is, is to make sure you have um, a, a, a picture with that person's eyes in it. And, um, you know, that you can use to do this technique. But there's a technique on how to remove glare. Tom, I hope you have appreciated it. As soon as I get this posted, I'm going to email Tom. Uh, and that's what I do. If you email me a question... As soon as I get the video created, I will email you and let you know the video is up on YouTube and ready to go. Hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial, and please keep those questions coming. It's jackstechcorner at gmail.com. My email is also on the website, jackstechcorner.com, and don't forget to check it out. And if you don't need the DVDs, maybe stop over and drop a donation in if you've been enjoying these videos. You know, any donation, any amount helps, and uh, it's greatly appreciated. So until next time, take care and keep those shutters clicking. Keep the editors editing. I'm your host, Jack, and I'll see you back here next time. Bye for now.